What's up, adventurers? Jeff back with another review today. Uh, this is kind of an old school intro. I haven't done an intro like this in a long time. Um, my workshop's presently being reconstructed by me, but I wanted to do a, a really quick review of the this package I got in the other day, and I think it's really important to get the message out. So today we're going to be doing a review of the unofficial G.I. Joe fan club membership package. Um, it's a cool package. I think it's important to get the message out that there is an unofficial G.I. Joe fan club. Um, I hope you guys all can decide whether you'd like to support it or not, but I just want to do a real quick review of everything that comes with this and kind of what this club is about, in my opinion, and you can form your own opinion. So we're going to head back to the shop and do a real quick review of it. All right, welcome back, guys. So we're doing this review today in my workshop as I'm completing it so I apologize for the uh, I guess crappiness of the video I'm not sure I'd even say crappy but the unfinishedness of my workshop so a little backstory on this uh, G.I. Joe fan club membership kit now this is the unofficial fan club so this isn't an official G.I. Joe fan club like in the past, um, we had the G.I. Joe fan club uh, when we were all kids through Hasbro. And then later on, Fun Publications would have the official G.I. Joe fan club as well. This, I believe, has no affiliation with the actual G.I. Joe folks at Hasbro, which probably is a good idea considering the circus and clown show that Hasbro's G.I. Joe team is. Uh, I would just assume that these guys keep it an unofficial fan club. So this, I first discovered this um, on Instagram probably in 2021 or 2022. I can't really remember. It's been so long. It came up through my feed, uh, through different people I follow, and I was intrigued by it. And I reached out to the fellas that were uh, doing this, and I asked several questions before I decided to jump in. I believe I... I invested around $65 or $67 to join this club. But before I joined, I wanted to make sure that the club was going to incorporate other uh, G.I. Joe genres, not just the Real American Hero um, folks. I know they're a really big fan base and a great fan base, but I'm an adventure team guy, even though I come from the era of uh, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero. I'm almost 49 years old, so I fall into that age demographic. But I wanted to make sure that this was going to actually involve other G.I. Joe genres eventually. And they told me it would. So um, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. So anyways, I decided to invest the money and support this club. Uh, and obviously, we finally just got the membership pack. I know they've had some setbacks and they've, done, they've worked really, really hard to put this together. And it's a really cool thing. So I got this in the mail the other day. I debuted it on my live stream. I know other people have shown it. I know Hooded Cobra Commander 788 has showed it as well. So I believe there's around 500 people in the club that signed up for this because I'm number 237 of 500. So I'm assuming that's uh, how many people are in this club. We'll talk about that in a minute too. But this is what I got in the mail. It's a really cool uh, membership kit. And today we're going to just do a basic review of it. So uh, it came in a really cool box. Obviously, it shows um, it is a member of G.I. Joe fan club kit uh, from 2022. Um, super cool. Just a real basic, neat box. And when you open it, you get several things. And I thought this was really cool, um, all the things that came with it. Obviously, I have opened this before, but... Uh, Let's just break down what you get. You got a 40th anniversary patch. Obviously, this is uh, specific to the Real American Hero set. Got another fan club patch. Um, got an official fan club membership card. Cool. Got a G.I. Joe... Fan Club Medallion. It's a really nicely made medallion. It says G.I. Joe Fan Club, Honor, Duty, Courage on the back. It has the 40th anniversary. They'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. Pretty cool. Again, these are very uh, Real American Hero specific items. Again, the, like I mentioned, the, the fellas that started this said that it just wouldn't be specific to Real American Hero. I don't know if they're telling me that. 
just to get me to sign up, but I'm going to take their word for it. It also came with a cool pin here. I won't pull that out. Um, it's a really neat box interior. We've got the top secret document portion there, and it came with some documentation that we'll pull out and take a look at as well. Let's pull all these out here. So the first order, we've got a cool letter from General Hawk. It says, by reading this letter, you understand you've been called up to active duty and are instructed to carry out their operational underground training contingency Foxtrot Alpha November. It goes on to break down the club and your involvement in the club. It's a cool, I won't read the whole letter, but it's a really cool letter. Uh, nicely done. Similar to some of the props that we use in some of my adventure team photo stories that the adventure team commander would say, namely my uh, adventure team make the adventures photo story has a similar type of letter. You also get this really cool uh, poster done in the art, similar to what you'd see on the card backs of the real American hero action figures. It's a really neat poster it's the cool uh, imagery of just a, a basic battle soldier that's neat as well and then you also get the debut issue of the uh, gi joe fan club i'm assuming newsletter i haven't really had a lot of time to go through this whole thing but um, it has a lot of really cool historical information on the uh Real American Hero line, as well as some fiction, fan fiction type stuff. Um, it's cool. We get Grunt here. That's interesting. I really haven't went through and looked at all this until today. Um, of course, you know, in the back here, this is all 2020. This all came in very late. So, of course, we're in 2023. So, this is about a year later. Um, so, it's really not current and up to date. But that's okay. These guys are really trying hard, I think, to make this work. Uh, which brings me to the last thing they gave me, which is a really cool dog tag that has my name on it. Um, a G.I. Joe fan club dog tag with my name, rank, and serial number. Really, really cool. I guess just my name, actually, not my rank. Um, that's cool as well. I really like that. That's a really cool touch for this uh, for this fan club. So anyway, it brings me back to my uh, what I was talking about when I first uh, opened this up. Um, I decided to support this for a few reasons. First of all, I, I think it's important to support people when they're trying something out, even if I don't 100% feel like I'm invested in it. But I really wanted to help these guys get this off the ground, and obviously 500 or 499 other people wanted to as well. Um, I hope that these guys are going to eventually incorporate all the genres of G.I. Joe because, you know, you have 500 people. And I think if they would reach out to the uh, folks that like the adventure team, uh, the 1964 to 1970 uh, military G.I. Joes, as well as uh, Super Joe genre, they would be able to get more people to invest in this club, which I think that's the important thing is you want to get bodies uh, invested in your product. So I think hopefully moving forward, these guys try to uh, broaden their net and incorporate more of the GI Joe folks into the, uh, into the fold. Hopefully they do that. If not, you know, obviously it's their choice. And I think it's also important starting a fan club to understand the shortcomings of the last fan club, um, which was ran um, relatively successful by any metric. Uh, but I think there's a lot of shortcomings with uh, the G.I. Joe Club as well that uh, went defunct in, I believe, 2018. Um, I think you need to hear all the voices in your club, not just the ones that you think matter. Um, and I think that was one of the problems with the last G.I. Joe Club is it was almost like a, uh, a boys club in a sense where um, they only listen to certain people who they can, I guess they deem to be um, people of importance in their club and that was very annoying to me I know a lot of other people uh, so I think it's important if you're going to have a club full of people 
you need to listen to everybody's voice. Um, and that's the whole part about having a club. You try to make everybody part of it and not just the people you think are um, important to whatever you're trying to do. I know that's difficult, but don't start a club if you're not willing to uh, listen to everybody. So I think that was the problem with the last club. Like I said, it did a lot of great things. And hopefully these guys here moving forward um, can really do that as well. I think it's a cool thing to start a, a G.I. Joe fan club, um, especially one that's not affiliated with Hasbro because – if you're not affiliated with Hasbro, then you're not subject to, excuse me, you're not subject to a lot of the Hasbro bullshit. Um, again, one of my points is you have to really involve everybody that's a fan of G.I. Joe, not just the real American hero people from 1982 to 2022, because I think it's interesting. I feel like there's kind of a little bit of a rift that formed between the 70s G.I. Joe fans and the 80s G.I. Joe fans. Uh, for a while in the G.I. Joe Collector Club, the last one. And there was a little bit of uh, annoyance between the two groups. Um, and that was stupid. Should have never been that way. Um, everybody should get along and accept each other. And I kind of see it happening now with the G.I. Joe Classified fans and the uh, O-Ring fans as well. So, you know, all you guys out there who are big O-Ring fans who are annoyed about the Classified people, uh, keep in mind that you were the same people who were... Um, feuding in a way with the adventure team guys so we're all on the same team and uh, it's important to remember that and I think it's important to support this group uh, ultimately I don't know if they're still accepting members I'm not sure how that's going right now because their their communications are not real great um, I had to email or message the guy I started this on Instagram quite a bit to um, get updates on it so I know they're they're it's a difficult thing when you're starting something, but um, I think that hopefully they get all that ironed out. But uh, it's a great package. It's a cool thing. Again, you know, I am a, I was a real American hero kid throughout the 80s, and uh, I was also an adventure team kid as well. I'm one of those weird tweeners who experienced um, three different genres of G.I. Joe, adventure team, Super Joe, as well as real American hero. So, um, you know, I'm a G.I. Joe fan all the way around. I love every genre, and I really wish Hasbro would uh, wake up and accept their fan base and uh, stop being a bunch of scumbags. But you uh, can't hope for everything, or you can't get everything you hope for, I guess. So um, I think it's a great kit, guys. Um, I know there's other reviews out there. Definitely check out Hooded Cobra Commander. I think he's talked about this before. He might even be a part of the group, for all I know. But... Um, it's a cool thing. Um, I don't regret spending the 60 some dollars on this kit, even though it's really not what I thought it was going to be. Um, and hopefully moving forward, it's going to be what I think it's going to be or hope it to be. Uh, but I've spent 60 some dollars on bar tab. So, you know, I'm not going to bitch about money. So anyways, this is a real cool basic review of this uh, unofficial GI Joe collector cub kit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't much. Um, it's just something I think is cool, and I'm really hopeful that this is, uh, is successful and this works out for everybody. So, um, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And in the meantime, keep living the adventure, and cheers.